turn this noisy tractor off here. Welcome back, everybody, to another live stream down on the farm this time. It's been a long time since I have done any farming-related content on the Jason West channel, but I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do it because this is the day that I have been waiting for all year, planting sweet corn. It's how I got my start in vegetable farming planting sweet corn, growing and selling sweet corn. So I thought I'd jump on here and do a quick live stream and tell you a little bit about my corn planter, what varieties we're planting, some other details about the corn planting operation. Um, before I do that, I just want to say real quick, if you hopped on here and you're getting ready to click off because you're not into farming, that's fine. I know a majority of my uh, personal channel is about backpacking and kayak camping However, I used to put all my farming content on the Jason Wish channel, and there are a fair amount of videos from two, three years ago of our greenhouse, oper you know, some of our greenhouse growing operation, hydroponic tomatoes, some sweet corn growing, some uh, vegetable farming, some farmer's market stuff. If any of those things interest you at all, please go over to the Wish Well Farms channel. Uh, I have been putting out two videos per week. Oh, come on, Colonel. <laughs> Less talking, more planting. I'll get back to planting. Hold on. Um, man, you lost. Now I lost my train of thought. Thanks a lot, Colonel. <clears throat> Where was I? Okay. Two videos a week on the farm channel, all about our farming operation. It's been a lot of greenhouse farming so far this year. Now we're finally out in the field. There's going to be fertilizing, spraying planting, transplanting, seeding, harvesting, selling the produce at farmers markets, working with my employees, washing and packing vegetables uh, in the cooler, in the market, you know, anything and everything. Oh, I'll be in the bean planter, the bean drill here in a couple weeks, helping my dad and my brother uh, drill beans and plant field corn. So we'll be doing some grain. I'll, I'll be putting some grain operation on there too. So Yes, if any of the farming operation interests you whatsoever, please go over and check out the Wishwell Farms channel. I really want to grow that channel. I'm trying to be consistent, vlogging two videos a week of everything going on in my life on the farm. All right, I want to keep this short and sweet because this is not backpacking or kayaking related at all. For those of you who are interested that maybe are not subscribed to the farm channel, this is my John Deere 7000 four-row corn planter. I use it for green beans as well. 1979. Pulled by my amazing all-purpose tractor, the 1964 John Deere 3020. I love my old equipment. It gets the job done, and I don't really have a need to upgrade to a big, expensive, fancy equipment for my small 65-acre operation. All right, let's talk about this corn planter real quick. My corn planter set up a little different than most. This is 28% liquid nitrogen that is pumped on with this roller pump. Oh crap, did I just hit a button? Hope I didn't stop it. Okay. It's pumped on by this roller pump, two inches beside it, the seed and two inches below the seed. It's called two by two. This tank here has starter, pop-up starter fertilizer. I think the analysis is like an 824 or 82010, something like that. But it's a low salt uh pop-up starter fertilizer it goes right on the seed furrow it is pumped by this electrical pump here the varieties i'm planting today in my opinion from my 25 years of experience are the best early sweet corn varieties on the market bolt i got it from gowan seed but you can get it from any seed company i got a lot of my seed from Rupp Seeds up in Wauseon, Ohio this year. Um, also from Seegers, which is now Stokes up in Michigan. So this variety here is Kickoff. Kickoff and Bolt. The cold soil vigor is phenomenal. Last year, I, I think I had a video on my other channel, or the farm channel last year about this. I had planted it in mid-April. It cut loose raining and got cold down into like 40 degrees. And I did not think it would ever come up. I thought I was going to lose everything. I mean, this field right here is where it was at. It was underwater. Half this field was underwater, 40 degrees. 
and 99% of those seeds came up. Incredible soil vigor, cold soil vigor. So the eating quality is even better. These are all augmented super sweets. <laughs> Colonel, leave me alone. <laughs> augmented super sweets. There's a, so you got standard, you got sugary enhanced, which are very tender, but they go bland very quickly. Then you got triple sweets, which are only 25% super sweet, 75% sugary enhanced. So we plant the augmented super sweets, also known as SHQs. There's a whole bunch of different names for them. But the tenderness and the sweetness and the holding ability is incredible. Nothing compares to it, to the SHQs. So we plant about a dozen different varieties. I will be planting about 13 to 15 times. Today is the first planting, April 15th. We will finish up our planting season on July 15th. So May, June, July, I had to count it out. Three full months of planting corn about every 10 days. And if you plant later than July 15th, sometimes you run into a frost. And by that time, everybody's sick of corn anyway. I'm sick of picking it. So July 15th will be our last planting. I have one acre planted already. It went in fairly well. I cannot believe it. I mean, look at this soil. Yeah, it's a little sticky in spots, but I mean, it's pretty crumbly, pretty dry back here. Do some wet spots over there where the irrigation line is. Um, so I'm just gonna piece it in. I'm gonna go back across the creek over here behind the greenhouses and plant another two acres tonight. So this first planting will have about four acres up to five acres. And then uh, we'll come back and start putting in regular plantings of different varieties. I only plant the bolt in the kickoff once because later season varieties are even better and they're a little bit bigger. Early sweet corn is not known for its great size and great quality, but I've never seen size eating quality on other corn like Bolt and Kickoff. All right, um, man, I could talk about this stuff all day long, but there's only six of you on here, so obviously people don't care, or they're driving home for work, or they're eating dinner. So maybe some of you will catch this later. Please go check out the Wishwell Farms channel. I'm trying to put awesome content on there. I, maybe, I, I'm not gonna say it's awesome. <laughs> I enjoy doing it and I hope you guys will go over and check it out and see what you think and I want to try to grow that channel it's only got 2100 subscribers right now I'd like to see that grow to 50 or 100,000 subscribers I'd like to put more effort into that channel than I would my personal backpacking and kayaking channel because this is something that happens every day in my life backpacking and kayaking backpacking and kayaking is something that happens monthly maybe or every other week but this is every day all righty guys uh short and sweet just wanted to check in and chat with you about sweet corn planting if i could transport myself to the greenhouses like that i would take you up there and show you our big green tomatoes that are about two to three weeks away from harvest our hydroponic greenhouse tomatoes i'll save that for another live stream i'll come back and do another farm live stream one more time and then after that they're always going to be on the farm channel which by the way I just did one right before this one on the farm channel about all the same stuff I just talked about. I might have dove a little deeper into some of the things. Alrighty guys, thanks for tuning in and I will see you again real soon down on the farm.